Hey guys, Arcane here from the future with a little conundrum. See, Doki Doki Literature Club is really sensitive to spoilers, and saying too much may ruin a pretty good piece of interactive fiction for folks who haven't played or seen it yet. The conundrum is that it also dips into narrative territory that requires a trigger warning, and even saying that may raise an eyebrow if you haven't played slash seen it. And a trigger warning that doesn't tell you what to expect is kind of like an ad for a movie that says, This summer, watch a guy do some stuff with another guy. Waggles eyebrows? You don't know. So here's a compromise. I'm going to show Doki Doki's detailed trigger warning from their own website, but I'm also going to make obnoxious noises. Join along, it's fun. Until it's off the screen. There's also a timestamp in the description below that you can click to skip right to the show. Spoiler warning in three, two, one. La 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 la, I can't hear you. Can't hear you. I can't hear what you're saying to me. Nope, nope, nope. I'm not looking at the screen. Nothing is seen there. Nope, 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 nope. There's nothing to see. I'm looking the other way. I'm looking over here at this wall. This wall, yep. There's no spoiler warnings over here on this wall, which is why I'm looking there. Do, 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 yep. Hmm. Hello, everybody. Hello. So when did this come to America become Super Mario Literature Club 2? Oh. <laughs> har, har, har. <laughs> say your best. Sayer? Who's Sayer? Sayer Moon? <laughs> no, the Super Sayer. <gasps> <laughs> wasn't even close to like a super sand sound. That was a man who just who just got super stoned for what he was about to do. <laughs> no! So I don't know about you, but my theory for this game so far is these girls are a literal coven. My theory is that they're all gonna have this some like super depressing backstory, and that and it's gonna be scary. But this is just my punishment, isn't it? Uh, it's gonna be that kind of relationship. Carnado! <laughs> What's this? What's this? There's something in the air. <laughs> About that. Oh, sorry. <clears throat> Are we getting started or what? There's a lot of stuff I gotta teach you. Please bear in mind, if you are new here and you haven't seen our last episode of this, that this is a blind playthrough and we don't know what's going to happen. You can use the skip button to fast forward to text you've already read. Wait, this is your first save, I think. Oh, is it? Must be that one. What? No, 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 save. save. Oh. No, stop. It's load. <laughs> you fool. It's already Sunday. I've been getting increasingly anxious about Natsuki's upcoming visit. I keep telling myself there's no reason to be nervous, but it doesn't help much. I wonder if she'll act any different when it's just the two of us. She's almost a different personality on the phone using tons of emoji and cute language. Oof. Mood. <laughs> I, I can just feel all the oh woes. <laughs> Basically. Once I reach Sayori's house, I knock on the door before entering it myself. Again, we used to play so often we've made it a habit of simply entering each other's houses like we're family. This has resulted in us seeing each other naked a lot. It's already strange of her not to run down and greet me. Also, again, since the ominous silence has appeared, I would like to remind everybody that, you know, all kinds of trigger warnings, just... I head up to her bedroom where I finally find her. Sayori? Hi, Ark. I sit down in her room. Sayori forces a smile, but it's easy to tell that she's different. She's in... Clothes. Okay. I was like, is she in underwear? No, those have pockets. Underwear doesn't have pockets. Underwear should have pockets. <laughs> <laughs> you haven't come over like this in a long time, have you? Ah, uh, I guess you're right. It has been a long time. Not much has really changed, has it? Still got that big fucking dumb cow. That pair of underwear over there is still there. Your plants are all still dead. Sayori's room is as messy as it's always been. <laughs> I keep doing this! <laughs> Why are you an anime protagonist? <laughs> <laughs> I also recognize the same stuffed animals and wall decorations that she's had for years now. No! Get out of my head! 
Aren't you going to be helping Monica today? Of course. But I'm just helping her online. We didn't plan to meet up or anything. Dude, I could have gone and hung out with Monica and totally got laid, which was like the whole point. She's like... So it's just me and Natsuki then? Yep. There is more silence between us. Sayori stares in a random direction. <laughs> she stares <laughs> to the north. <laughs> I just wanted to see how you were doing after you left on Friday. Why can't it just be like it's always been? <laughs> Weird with a boatload of sexual tension? This is all my fault. If I didn't get so weak and accidentally express my feelings. But this is just my punishment, isn't it? Uh, it's gonna be that kind of relationship. I think that's why the world decided to have you come over today. It puts the lotion on. <laughs> it just wants to torture me. <laughs> <laughs> I grab Sayori by the shoulders. What on earth are you saying? <laughs> so anime. <laughs> <laughs> shake, shake, shake. <laughs> I know something happened to you. There's no other explanation for you to be like this. So tell me already. But you're wrong. Nothing happened to me. Nobody tells Arcane he's wrong. <laughs> <laughs> you fool. <laughs> I've always been like this. You're just seeing it for the first time. You're really just going to make me say it, aren't you, Ark? I guess I have no choice this time. Yes, I am anime man. I am thick and clueless until I'm 70 years old and then I have all wisdom and knowledge. <laughs> The thing is, I've had really bad depression my whole life. Oh. Did you know that? No. Why do you think I'm late to Why do you think I'm late to school every day? Because most days I can't even find a reason to get out of bed. What reason is there to do anything when I fully know how worthless I am? Why is it you've never told me about this? It almost feels like I've been betrayed as your close friend. Wow, Ark. Wow, what an ass bag. Because if I knew, I would have done everything I could to support you. Even if there's only so much that I could do. Because if I told you, then you would have to waste effort caring about me instead of doing important things. I don't want to be cared about. The only thing that could have helped is if everything could be like it always was. That doesn't seem like that would have helped at all because it sounds like you were miserable before any of this started. But I was selfish. I finally showed you what a horrible person I am. Tears straight down Sayori's face. I made you join the literature club because I was selfish. And I punished my heart hurting in a way that I couldn't understand. And now you came here and I made you hurt too. Without thinking, I once again grab Sayori's shoulders. This time, I pull her into a tight embrace. Ah, Mark. Sayori, I don't care if you feel selfish. I'm really happy that you convinced me to join the club. Seeing you every day makes it worthwhile enough. I don't know if I'm doing the right thing, but all I want is for her to know that I care. If you have it in you to call yourself selfish, then you have to let me be selfish too. The only time I'm not feeling nothing is when I'm feeling pain. But your hugs are so warm, and that's really scary too. Please stop. <laughs> Sayori lets me go. As she does so, I let her go as well. The festival's tomorrow. Yeah. It's gonna be fun, right? Yeah. How would you like for me to spend it all with you? Um... If I could spend the whole day here, I would. Of all days, this has to be the one where I have other plans. Fucking... Yeah, you should cancel. No, don't. Please don't. If you did that, then I really wouldn't forgive you. But... It's almost time for Natsuki to meet me at my house. At the very least, do you want to come along and help out? It would be fun. To my surprise, Sayori shakes her head. I'm sorry. Fucking thick. I don't know if that would be very <clears throat> good for me today. You understand, right? I say goodbye to Sayori and exit her house. On the way home, I find myself still feeling uneasy. But it's hard for me to keep thinking about it when Natsuki is about to come over, too. I think Sayori is right. I shouldn't be worrying too much, and we're definitely going to have a great time tomorrow. You should be worrying all the worry. She's not she does she's not getting any help. <laughs> yeah, seriously. Okay. Real talk. Guys at home, if you find out that somebody that you know and care about is struggling with depression or, you know, 
other shit like that, if you are not a psychiatrist or a psychologist, there's only so much that you can do to help, and there's a good chance that you will fuck it up. The thing that you should do most of all is make sure that they are getting help, and then educate yourself on what you can do. Make sure that they are getting professional help. Do not try to be professional help. Because you are not. Why does that window need a railing? <laughs> Maybe it's a full window and you can... It doesn't look fall like out it. of. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, it's a big window. Before I know it, she texts me to let me know she's outside the front door. I would let me in. <laughs> okay, yeah, I see. It's just... Are you sure? Because... If the rail, because I can see what you're talking about, where like it's a balcony and it wraps around. Mm -hmm. But if you look on the left corner, it looks like the balcony like rubs right up against the corner, and that railing seems to go like, if that railing is on the edge of the balcony, it's like right in front of the window. That, that's really <laughs> that's like an M.C. Escher painting. I, I'm I'm long I'm with long tail. It's some stupid building code shit. I don't know what I was expecting, but seeing Natsuki in something other than her s school uniform totally threw me off. Seeing her in such cute clothes makes the uniform seem totally unfitting in comparison. Geez, don't make it feel so awkward already. I mean, it's gonna be a long afternoon, so don't be weird just because you're not used to seeing me outside of school. Anyway, I'm coming in. <laughs> I'm coming in! <laughs> Well, I didn't want to come all this way to find out that your kitchen isn't equipped for the job. My kitchen apparently is equipped for any job, Jesus. Including the job of Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> Yesterday, Natsuki asked me to buy a bunch of ingredients if I didn't already have them at home. Ugh. Coffee. <laughs> Good. Glad I could count on you to do your part. I'm surprised to hear Natsuki suddenly say that rather than something snarky like she usually does. Could it be that she's a little different outside of school after all? Anyway, let's go to the kitchen! What, you're not even gonna offer to take this heavy bag from me? Uh, bitch, do your own labor. <laughs> Where's your hospitality, Ark? Come on. <laughs> Since when did I need to be a gentleman? I grab the bag Natsuki holds out to me. <laughs> all of the eggs inside shatter. <laughs> this is ridiculously heavy. <laughs> I carry that all the way here. Are you impressed? I see now. <laughs> <laughs> you're, you're gonna go with me into an arm wrestling contest, aren't you? And I'm gonna you're get gonna thrown out of the window. <laughs> you're gonna dislocate my everything. <laughs> it's gonna be like fist in the North Star. Natsuki hits a fist into my chest. My chest cavity... Uh, implodes. Implodes. I can't breathe. I die. A horrible asphyxiating death. <laughs> Hey, hey! <laughs> your, size has, <laughs> your size has nothing to do with it. <laughs> do you really hate being small that much? Eh. Um, it's not like I hate it. I mean, sometimes I like proving people wrong when they only think I'm worth my size. Are we getting started or what? There's a lot of stuff I gotta teach you. <laughs> <laughs> well, wasn't that a bit of fun? <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> Now you are treating me like a kid. I was just trying to be a little nicer to you, you know. B Baka. Just because I don't have a mature and sexy figure like Yuri doesn't mean you should treat me like... <laughs> She's winding up! <laughs> <laughs> then comes the fist! Natsuki catches her words and her face turns red. Natsuki... Forget it. Let's just get started already. <laughs> this is the most awkward conversation in the history of conversations. I'm getting mood whiplash. <laughs> you get all sour when a girl calls you gross. Finally found your weakness, Ark. Really? The solar plexus. <laughs> no. Does does any male get does any male get called gross by a pretty girl and be like, well that felt good. <laughs> well, if Natsuki decides to dish out more insults like that, there's no way I'm not fighting back. <laughs> You're going down, bitch! To the moon! <laughs> Spoons, dirty balls, flour, spilled fluid, and plastic bags are strewn about every countertop. The mixture isn't big enough to make all the batter at once, so we've had to do it. Ark, where did you put the food coloring? What are you using it for? To color the batter, of course. 
I'm making each tray a different color. That way, even if the flavors aren't different, everyone can still pick their favorite. Oh, that's clever. You're not putting any heart into this at all. Sorry. There you go! Oh god! Can't you at least try to have fun? No! Heart! Injected! Can't! Pump blood! <laughs> you almost said breathe, didn't you? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Just make sure you completely finish mixing the icing before you mess with the food coloring. What was that? <laughs> Jeez, I'll be here all night if you do it like that. Here, look. Natsuki grabs the whisk from me and uses her other hand to tilt the bowl back. You really need to beat the crap out of it. After a few seconds, the consistency of the icing has already improved. See? I triumphantly scoop some with my finger just as Natsuki tugs with all her might. Ah! The force of Natsuki pulling me causes me to stumble, making her stumble in turn. It's an anime time! Wee! I grab her wrist with my hand before it reaches my face. Ah, young love. Young, stupid love. <laughs> Natsuki tries to use her other hand to fight back, but I grab that one as well. It, deep uncomfortableness <laughs> is happening now. Welcome to two brothers awkwardly play opposite roles of a budding romance. <laughs> Stop. I take Natsuki's finger and put it in my mouth, licking off the icing. Whoa, snap. <laughs> How did the mood turn to this so quickly? Because it's an anime. Also because you did that thing, dumbass. Where you're like, I'm gonna lick your fingers. <laughs> I notice her shallow breaths. I realize that I'm standing with my knee on her solar plexus. <laughs> Why am I starting to feel dizzy? Now she's standing with her knee on my solar plexus. She's got her, she's got her knee inserted firmly in my groin. I cannot feel my legs. <laughs> Out of nowhere, the fire alarm starts going off. Good job, guys. <laughs> Natsuki rushes over to the oven. Is something burning? No, the fire alarm just felt like going off. I thought you didn't put the cupcakes in yet. <laughs> no wonder. You left a dirty tray in there, dummy. Oh, it's too real. <laughs> it could be worse. It could have just been a chipboard for a video for an arcade cabinet. <laughs> How could you make a mistake like that? You should have checked before turning the oven on. Don't blame me for your mistakes. Ah, that smells so good. The cupcakes are ready to be pulled out of the oven. As soon as Natsuki opens the oven door, a blast of sweet-smelling warm air fills the room. I'm slammed against the wall. It cracks from behind me. I can't... <gasps> it's too much power. Look at how cute they all look. No, we're being blasted. You got <laughs> Look at how cute they all look. <laughs> cute lasers shooting out of the oven. <laughs> Punching dog-shaped holes in the wall. <laughs> Did you say something? No, nothing. Oh no, I put my culottes on today. <laughs> God damn it. In nomine domini nos dominus. <laughs> <laughs> when we're finally finished, Natsuki puts them all side by side to admire our work. Look at how pretty they are together. Yeah, they are, aren't they? Uh, I wish we c I could have one now. I take a cupcake and I smoosh it into her face. <laughs> She's now covered in icing. Time for me to lick things. <laughs> I start with the wall. Mmm, taint. <laughs> oh no, it's got lead in it. I die slowly. <laughs> well, anyway. I was hoping we would have time for Maga, but I need to be home for dinner. Aw, oh, already? That's a shame. It's your fault for working so slowly. Jesus, fine lady, damn. You should have thought about that. Also, the part where you had me pinned against the wall for 10 straight minutes, gazing into my eyes. And you licking to, me. <laughs> you need to see a therapist. Just like that, Natsuki's already about to leave. It feels like the afternoon went by in a flash. More than that, did I even take the opportunity to get closer to her like I wanted? Well, I, don't I don't know. Use your, use your imagination. <laughs> <laughs> you can come over anytime, okay? I think that if possible, I'd like to spend more time like this. If you want to read manga or go out somewhere... Um, do you really mean that? Natsuki looks at me tensely like she's trying to hide her expression. Her expression of extreme disgust and loathing. Discomfort. The man who licked her finger is now telling her she should come over sometime. I'm sorry I had to leave so early today. I really didn't want to. 
I would really stay here longer if I could. Hot damn. I feel the same way as you, so... Oh! Natsuki suddenly grows to th three <laughs> times her old size. She's turning She's she, turning into a nose her. She's pulling a Grinch. <laughs> Wait, Natsuki! Kaneda! <laughs> <laughs> We're becoming one! Standing inches from me, Natsuki looks up at me. This is something that we could have drawn a special graphic for, but decided it would be better to throw pixely, super zoomed in Photoshop <laughs> work at you. What is happening? What is happening? <laughs> My head starts to go dizzy as I feel her soft breaths against me. I felt it for a while now. Please move your hand. <laughs> Natsuki suddenly jumps back. S Sayori? Yeah? Uh... Hi, Ark. You should have come a little earlier. I'm already on my way out, so... Yeah, you should have come earlier when the when the finger-licking good was <laughs> happening. We could all have been licking each other's fingers. Anyway, later. Whoosh. Clearly flustered, Natsuki hurries off and Sayori waves goodbye. It makes me really happy that you've made such good friends. Why does it feel like my heart is splitting in half? It hurts so much. Everything hurts so much. Ah! <laughs> She's burning! <laughs> She's on fire! <laughs> this would be so much better if I could just disappear! Sayori, don't say that! It's true, Ark! If I wasn't here, then you wouldn't have to waste your sympathy on me! Monica was right. I should just... Monica? Monica was right about what? Sayori? What I said before is true. Hold on, wait a minute! Whoa, whoa, whoa! What did Monica say? Is Monica a huge bitch? Ark, I like you so much that I want to die. Okay, that's... not sure I can handle that. I know what you need the most right now. And that's what I'm going to give to you. Sayori... <laughs> fuck. Time for a save! <laughs> Do we keep in pursuit of the endearing and cute, but clearly... and... and... and Girl who doesn't, like, hit us in the face, who will hit us in the face for saying weird shit about manga, but won't hit us in the face for licking her fingers, or do we pursue our longest, dearest, bestest friend? <laughs> hmm. Alright. You'll always be my dearest friend. What you need most is for things to be like they've always been. Monica told me the truth. She told me how much happier you seemed after I joined the club. I know you're struggling with some really difficult feelings right now, but please just trust me that I know what's best and what will make you happy in the end. And apparently you don't want to be in a relationship with me. I know what's best. <laughs> <laughs> I know what's best. Is this what it feels like to get stabbed in the chest? I should write a poem about this. Sayori. It's okay. This is just my punishment, remember? Please don't worry about these stupid feelings. I know you're right. Maximum worry. You're also right that I just wanted to go back to the way it was. I realize that now, so... Sayori's smile finally breaks. All of a sudden, she turns around and drops to her knees. <laughs> oh! <laughs> Clutching her head with both hands, she screams as loudly as she can. I'm so shocked that I don't know how to react. The neighbors are looking out their windows. One of them has a phone. I hear sirens. <laughs> Sayori looks over her shoulder and flashes me one more weak smile before turning around and running off. Sayori! I'm left helplessly standing in front of my house. Why am I feeling so horrible about this? There's nothing more that I could have done. The most I can do is... Well, there's a few things. You could have sacrificed your entire life for her happiness. I mean, that was an option. He already turns around and flashes me, end of sentence. It's the day of the festival. Of all days, I expected this to be the one where I'd be walking to school with Sayori. What is this fucking rich-ass neighborhood? It's Japan. <laughs> but Sayori isn't answering her phone. I considered going to her house to wake her up, but decided that's a little too much. I managed to carry all the cupcakes myself by carefully stacking two trays. 
One tray looks really good. The bottom tray, all the words have mooshed together, and now it's E.E. E. Cummings' poem. Ark! You're the first one here! That's funny. I thought at least Yuri would be here by now. I'm... I'm surprised you didn't bring Sayori with you. Yeah, she overslept again. Dummy. You should take a little responsibility for her, Ark. I mean, especially after your exchange with her yesterday. You kind of left her hanging this morning, you know? Exchange? Monica, you know about that? Yesterday in the bushes, just binoculars sticking out. <laughs> like high-tech binoculars. <laughs> Enhance! <laughs> I am all-seeing and all-powerful. You shall know my name is the Lord. Yeah, but can you see why kids love Cinnamon Toast Crunch? You don't know the full story at all, so... Don't worry. I probably know a lot more than you think. Yeah. Monica is being friendly as usual, but for some reason I felt a chill down my spine after hearing that. What's this? What's this? There's something in the air. What's this? There's music everywhere. What's this? Pat, whap. I flipped to Sayori's poem. It's different from the one she practiced. It's one I haven't read before. <clears throat> get out of my head, 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 get out of my head. Oh, we forgot the percent at the top for some that's just there. <laughs> but a poem is never actually finished, it just stops moving. Also the handwriting's different. Hmm. Interesting. Ah. Uh. What is this? Reading the poem, I get a pit in my stomach. Oh. <laughs> Ark? <coughs> Sorry, I just ate an apricot too fast. Oh god, I changed my mind. I'm going to go get Sayori, so don't strain yourself. Monica calls that out after me. I quicken my pace. <laughs> Fuck you. I told her yesterday that things will be the same as they've always been. That's all she needs and what I want to give her. I reach Sayori's house and knock on the door. I don't expect an answer since she's not picking up her phone either. Like yesterday, I open the door and let myself in. With my boot! Outside Sayori's room, I knock on her door. Also, isn't that something a boyfriend would do, you fucking teenage ass piece of shit? Stop thinking your friend you know something is horribly wrong with your friend and you're like isn't this something a boyfriend would do? Stop thinking with your dick. <laughs> Sayori Wake up, dummy. There's no response. I really didn't want to have to enter a room like this. I gently open the door. Say oh Well This did not turn out good. The fuck what the fuck is happening? Oh, oh, we've we've seen through uh, the matrix. Oh, oh we've broken the facade. Wait, this game is written in Python? This isn't real. They've put static on the screen because static is spooky. I suppress the urge to vomit. That seems like a bad idea. Yeah, <laughs> just let it out, man. Screw the literature club. Screw the festival. I just lost my best friend. Someone I grew up with. She's gone forever now. Nothing I do can bring her back. This isn't some game where I can reset and try something different. God damn it! Way to ruin the pace. Seriously, come on. I can never take it back. Never. 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 Black. Uh, things are weird. I did kind of expect this game to be like, whoa. You know, no. Because it said something that makes me curious. I have a thought. Yeah. Uh. Hinga dinga durga. <laughs> that girl is. Hinga dinga. <laughs> my neighbor and good friend since we were children. However, I just saw an idol up in front of the crosswalk and let yeah, yeah, yeah. catch up to me. <laughs> it's an ordinary school day like any other. Mornings are usually the worst, being surrounded by couples and friend groups walking to school together. Meanwhile, I've always walked to school alone. 
I always tell myself it's about time I meet some girls or something like that. Oh my goodness, I totally didn't expect to see you here. In your class where you've been? <laughs> it's been a while, right? Uh... Yeah, it has. What are you doing in the boys' bathroom? <laughs> You're in the debate club, right? <laughs> about that. Oh, sorry. <clears throat> about that. I actually quit. Actually, I'm starting a new one. A literature club. Literature? That sounds kind of dull. How many members do you have so far? Um... <laughs> God, I keep forgetting. <clears throat> it's kind of embarrassing, but there are only three of us so far. God damn it, hyena. <laughs> Get boxed. If you could at the very least visit my club, it would make me really happy. Please. Um, well, I guess I have no reason to refuse. And I've got two great big reasons to accept. Also, I'm feeling something that just feels like the just sharpest of daggers penetrating into the back of my skull over and over and over again. Is it my voice? Some people have said that about my voice. No, that would be into the side of my head where my ears are. <laughs> <laughs> Shall we go then? As she picks me up over her head and carries me back to the classroom, Super Mario Brothers 2 style. <laughs> and thus, today marks the day I sold my soul to Monica and her irresistible That's smile. That's the problem. I we need... keep selling our soul. <laughs> <laughs> this club is full of incredibly cute girls. Horses can reek. Fuck you, horses. Ow. So, Ark, what kinds of things do you like to read? Uh, blog posts, uh, political news articles. This is poem that's just full of cute shit, and then suddenly, and then I came. <laughs> <laughs> and then there was a kitty. Yay! I became a furry.